should flip the trains in on them. Yeah, that's my option. Keep th hitting them with trains. Then hope. Yep. Just do train in action. Thanks for messing around. It's more Vampire Survivors Beswick. This time X Dash is gonna be bringing me nothing but pain because oh god. My options are extremely limited. They are in fact so limited it's gonna be painful. I will be smashing my skull into everything, in the vain attempt it will do at anything. It is the only way X-Dash is going to survive this, is stacking as much Divine Bloodline as possible. Da -da -da. Armor up. Hold out with the Hollow Hearts for as long as possible. Oh boy. Some health regeneration. Hope that something can occur. Why are you? Oh god, without empty tome, it's so bad. Don't even have that much health. Boy, am I gonna have to hit inverse to get part of fire. That's gonna be it. Ricky thing. Right, since the first chest can evolve, I gotta hold off on it. To hopefully pick up some Vandalier and then whatever I'm gonna get on the back end. The leader for healing. The leader for healing. No. Best of wins. I didn't unlock it. I didn't unseal it, did I? So hard to tell where they're hitting. Hey, pet. That was very helpful. Damage isn't going to be a problem here. Not at all. Hey, Rosary. Oh, come on. It was on the boss bat. Are you kidding me? Not getting that Aura Logan. That will actually make it worse. As I need things to hit me to do damage. I have 500 health and it's still going to be a risk to actually get through this. Definitely got to go awake. Hey, NFT. Oh, excellent. That was lucky. At least he's lucky. At least he's lucky. <laughs> I'm not even going to tag Leo left to make up for this. If I should get... I should actually not get... I'm going to lie, I should get tag Leo left instead. That will give more health. Oh dang, if only I hadn't wasted that chest with it being on top of me. That would fix everything. So much health, and yet it's still a risk. Oh, I'm surrounded by D-Fang. Since the Pomerola, or the wings, won't actually hit near me. Hmm. I mean, I, I guess eventually they'll just shimmy in enough. But, you know, I could kind of create... A wall. Not going to, but I could. This doesn't matter. Well, I just gotta wander around trying to get light sources for healing. And three more revivings. Damn, that luck is coming in. 
not clutch, since nothing about this can be clutch, but still. He really does not do well with challenges at all. It, they. Burn, ghost, burn. At least I don't have to worry about Stalker with how many rosaries have been showing up. Right? Right? Dun -dun. There's more chickens. And an Orologian I don't want. And two Orologians I don't want. Man, it's not even like it's that much luck overall yet. Now, maybe there's a hidden modifier on top of it. I mean, the BFC doesn't say anything about a Guinean amount, and it totally does. I refuse to believe it doesn't. It doesn't make any sense if it doesn't. Okay, I have 1500 health. That's a lot. Could be good enough to survive. I'm getting awake anyway. And I could have waited for that chest till after I had Vandalier to level it up instead. And it would be more efficient just to leave all this experience on the ground. But this is X dash. It's not about efficiency. It's about minimizing your pain. Oh, right, other weapons. Well, I guess. Do I actually have what it evolves with? No, it's empty tome or something. No, it's clover, which is on the map, but still. Well, I need that less, so it doesn't matter. Well, that's enough health. I'm probably not going to fall. Even the Arcana Bat's been neutered. I defanged. Yeah, no wonder Toasty's at the bottom. Wait, no, Toasty. This is X-Dash. No wonder X-Dash is at the bottom of the tier list. That some person made up. Hello, Drowner. Let's see. Should be a light source with the rosary around here somewhere. Here are three of them. And Stalker just for good, bad measure. Why not? That figures. That figures. Nope, just some chicken. Nope, stalker touched me. Bad stalker, bad. Nope, well, there goes the drowner. There's enough not to rosaries. Oh, good thing I grabbed all those revives. This is uh, looking like... That HP is a going to bye-bye. Yep. Still, I am double stalker that. Yep. Yep. Just some gold. Nothing helpful at all. Hey, a chest that will accomplish nothing. Yay, played crossbow. I should have grabbed fist boots. Get some healing going. Sure, it would lower my might, but it would also make them take more damage. Yep, that figures. You got pushed into me. You're still here, huh? 15? Okay, yeah, you left at the minute mark. Wow, I actually took enough damage and I lost another revive. Incredible how bad x Dash is.
can't do solo weapon because you aren't going to accomplish that with burden. Basically, well, obviously a full weapon in loadout would be fine. But solo weapon, this specific challenge, you're not going to make that. You can't do that with charm and curse at max. At least toasties next. That'll be nice and easy. Where is Toast going? Someplace fun. Hey, bat. Wait, I still. Oh, candy box. Yep, there we go. Like I said, I'm. If it combines, then it's still counting towards the limit. Means I'm stuck with weak characters with what way down that are gonna be down one weapon. One evolution, one power point. Well I've only got one revive left. Why do I only have one? That's really bad. Especially bad because I only have two thousand bloody hell. Oh, more vacuum time. Obviously, this is the part where if I had Empty Tome and Ken Arbiter and Spellbinder, then the leaders would be good. I can't have that because I need as much survivability as I can get in order to get this far. I possibly could have switched out Spellbinder for it. Spellbinder is the least useful. Mm, no, Candle Abador. Here he is big enough as it is. Yeah, so I'll switch on just pure armor next time. Get Empty Tome and Candle Abador. And Festive Winds. No, Empty Tome and Spellbinder. It'll be a less challenging stage than Mad Forest. Right? Right? At least the damage is okay. Or as okay as it gets on non-inverse. More chicken. At least I'm getting a lot of chicken. So much chicken, in fact. Crazy. So much chicken. Hey, light sources. Yay, light sources. And an NFT. And two NFTs, in fact. Oh, right, a chest. The uh, final sanctuary, probably, actually. Get any cooldown I can muster. Zerbande isn't going to do anything. Eradicates them nice and good. Burn, bat, burn. I've got this much might and it's still only doing like 200 damage a hit. That's crazy bad. Vacuum. Level up. Yay, level up. Oh, Disco of Gold. Or Rondo of Gold, as it's called wrongly, by certain individuals for doing a beating every stage with every character challenge. Blam! Wiping them out with the Vandalier. Vandalier is very strong, but getting to it can be very painful. Especially on a character as weak and pathetic as X-Dash. Yeah. It definitely, of the two major ways to play the game, as a full loadout, or 
a Silent Old Sanctuary simple weapon. You can't do Silent Old Sanctuary. Ebony is, Wings is just not strong enough for that. And you have to rely on Super Candy Box 2 Turbo Edition in order to get Vandaliers, which is not good. Even with his enhanced luck. I haven't seen it, have you? It's still random. More NFT in. Got 24,000 health, and yet it still will not be enough. Get this right. Kill count's pretty okay, at least. But it's Divine Bloodline. It should be doing way more than this. So much more. You wouldn't believe... Again. Yep. That's my last revive. So, will 1300 health be enough to pierce through the heavens? Seems unlikely. Seems very unlikely. X dash bad. X dash very bad. Hey, there's a Super Candy Box 2 Turbo. Oh, you know, right what I want. Nothing but chickens and stopping enemies hard. Okay, time to go grab those Orologians. Right down the other hand, it's bats. They are not very damaging. Maybe I can just win anyway without the Oral Logans. Oh, that eradicates the big bossy bats, at least. Hmm. Yep, they got knocked back. They're actually not getting one shot, huh? Wait, why aren't you activating right? There's no way all of that was in the crossbow. Okay, that is X dash with one down. Only very more, so much more pain to go. Okay, and let's see where X dash is going to now. Last challenge was boss rash, which means no. Oh well, this is gonna take eighty years. Awe of the Unknown. Unknown? That's X Dash's chances of victory. Maybe I should go Life Sign Scan. Or Laurel. Gee, it sure would be nice to get anything helpful. Nope. You're for later, Hollow Heart. Really does sound like a Mega Man track here. Well, Mega Man X track. There we are, armor. And now my retaliation damage is increased, too. Oh, those do activate things. Should flip the trains in on them. Yeah, that's my option. Keep th hitting them with trains. Then hope. Yep, just do train in action. Do it as long as I possibly can. And then hope that there's some candle arbidors that spawn down here.
or anything. Anything at all. I'm not gonna survive this one. I'll throw them. So I guess that's the risk. If you do go down here, then you don't get any candle arbors, any light sources. Oh, I hit that. Wait, dust elementals. Does this have any light sources? Why are you messing up? Okay, I have like 150 health to desperately try and do anything. Okay, there are some candle operators here. And you aren't giving me health. Oh boy. There's Pichon. Pichon! And you stop before you hit it. Right, you can fire. Yeah, so when I saw that it was this, I did not change what my pass will be because I needed them. There is no way I'm surviving anything. Anything less than the maximum survivability I can manage. Hey, Triple Pichone. Boy, it would sure be nice if he's ever hit anything. Okay, don't want to bust awake this early, but I will if I have to. Oh, if I can even get to it. Ha 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 ha. Yes, thank you, broken rerolls. And life sign scan, cause health. Health, health, health. The longer I can survive, the better. Might. Not good. Oh, mini ghost. Nope, I'm keeping my rules, even though I could technically fall without in them. Wait, why are you taking more damage from the train? Is train damage based on my might too or something? Huh. Yeah, there's no light sources spawning in at all. Well, grabbing mini, well, banishing mini ghosts will be one more level before I have to hit. Might. You're giving me the empty tome and the spinach. It's like you want me to win if I was playing in anything resembling an intelligent manner. Oh, there are King Labradors down here. He's just had wretched luck spawning them in. Oh, light sources. Even though they are candle operators. Three. That's three passive pickups now. That's crazy. Oh, hey, you evolved. Yay, Vandalier. That means I hold out for the maximum time possible for empty harden. Or hollow harding. Hoping I get some more retaliation damage done. Or I could grab the mini ghost. Anyway. I mean, it's not like I'm basically not cheating it anyway. What with uh, not counting the weapon power up. And it vanishes too. And I could grab a third weapon. Yeah, totally. Where is my pride as a content creator? Looks at subscriber count. What pride? Probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, crap. Oh, well. 
It happens, it happens. It's not like it really counts towards the limit, you know? Since it'll vanish. I can use none of these. Wait, no, Twilight Requiem gets Burden. Not Vandalier. Uh, that's it. I don't even know if I'm on effects this. There in lies a hollow heart. It only takes Life Sign Scan and Divine Bloodline for X Dash to win. But yeah, with regular weapons, he would not be remotely as terrible. But under these exact specifications that I'm running, you know, I could just get Garlic to carry to later in a normal run. And then once that's done, you have bigger guns like Vandalier. Or Labora. Or Festive Wind. And I could have just not grabbed that. But I could do a lot of things. Like succeed. Well, duration. It's here, it's there. It's there, it's here. Well, if you're gonna just keep giving me good ones I want to select, then yeah, I'm gonna hit them. There we go. Random always now. Now, back to full health. This somehow ends up being... less lives lost than Mad Forest. It's gonna be weird. Well, most of Laboratory isn't so bad. It's just that Tribe Blunder wave at the end is absolutely st stupidly overpowered. Like, oh my god, they have so much health. Hey, maximum high health. Yay, I got 1600 health. Let's see you get through that, mobs. Oh, the damage is so low without having thousands of might. Alright, time to take a load off. Not like they're gonna get through this. Not like they're gonna get through this. So how does the audio sound to you, my... A very great viewer. When I put the headphones on, it sounded fine. It always sounded fine. That's why you got that weird muffled time for so long. Because it sounded okay on my end. Then when I finally played a video on the TV, I couldn't hear a thing. So I finally messed with the audio settings more and redirected the mic. And then it started sounding okay again. But my sound settings and my broken ears are different from yours, so... Heck, even my visual signs are different than yours, because right now, comparing it to OBS, the gameplay on screen is much brighter than OBS. Man, they've done so much damage. That's really hundreds of HP these little robot things have done. Boy, without Empty Tome, Vandalier does very little. Burning. Burning. Hot Desire. Wait, what? Oh. Mazo Familiar. Da, da, da. Man, it's not even the big tribal underway that it's already getting in. Just look at how bad it's going to be when the ones that actually have health come up. Well, this ended up being not so bad, all things considering. Still got two more revives. And surprisingly endless fire on the NFT for some reason. Also, my controller has stopped, you know, causing me to go north. I don't know what's that about. 
Maybe I just had multiple days in a row where it was stuck. Trained. Yeah, it's doing even more damage. So it's either a level... Well, it's either based on your might. Oh, there's the first of the big tribe blunders. Now yeah, the entire screen is them. Good God, they do so much damage too. Well, I have enough health and enough revives to get through this, but still, look at this nonsense. Look at it go on. Almost feels like revenge for putting Gyoru Tin in. Bye bye. Thank you, Reaper, for saving me from all of them. 4.2 million on the Vandalier, eh? Divine Bloodline was still what was necessary. Okay, and rounding out X Dash's journey, he will be heading to Space 54. And with the exact same build, because, oh god, what else could possibly even work? Why move? Only more effort. You hit the passive, so things get out of the pool. Sure, I could go and grab those gems, but that would be helpful. Oh god, it's so pathetic. I just get long gone to be more helpful. Now I could have gone for as Kizabur and the Legionary, but you know, that would be a good idea, and X Dash does not deserve good ideas. Same thing with Laurel. If I pop Laurel, then you can still trigger the retaliation damage. So yes, you can do things. Blah, who cares? Blah 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 blah. Yep, I'm just randomly singing about nothing. Hey, what am I supposed to do? X Dash does not have gameplay. Wait for Divine Bloodline to do something and it's not going to be remotely as good as on other characters. Not even like Toasty where you have to be very, very... Precise? X Dash is just sort of malarkey around. What am I even going to have on Toasty? Well, Toasty has to go cooldown duration because he needs a Laurel. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And then... Oh, I actually might have to go on ver inverse on him so I can get both Arcanas. Hey, what stage is he going to? Now, Toasty. Toasty is a character that's going to be fun. X Dash is just boring. Boring bad. Oh, there was Pichon, and I missed it, because I needed the health more. Well, recovery increases the health regen from that, so... Increases the health regenerated from every source, not just your... Recovery. Not just your passive recovery, but from everything. That's what I meant. Yes, clearly. So these chickens heal more. Yay, heal more. Like Dragon Quest just got announced for a remake in and the, the Zelda one in the da -da -da, Dagon Ronpa crew making a new game. Those ones seem interesting from the direct. Probably not. I mean I'll probably play them. Oh, at least I got Pichon. Pichon! Hey, another chicken. At least they don't do that much damage here. Should probably go grab the fingers now ahead of time, but they're more valuable. Since with maximum endless cooldown, what else can they do? And since this stage is still so newish and on play to me, I don't know when the pollution chests trigger. 
I guess I'm staying here for a while. Well, I haven't had an Arcana chest either. Hmm. At least it's going up pretty swiftly. And I haven't had to use my revive, so that's nice. Uh, let's get Silent Old Sanctuary now. Even though I would prefer to have Awake, I only have so many revives, and I'd prefer one more roll before. One more chance of getting it that I would. At least this way I get something I know will be helpful. Or I could have gotten Heart of Fire. Well, no, I have three more rerolls. I have two, one, and zero for whatever reason. Yay! Counting. Math is a very valuable skill to have. Yep, that isn't an evolution chest. That's bad. Hey, chicken and a vacuum. Onwards, onwards to the golden finger. Hopefully try to avoid some levels. Oh, nope. Vacuum's gonna make that not be possible. Uh-oh. Dang mushroom heads. Well, I guess brain cases. Also works. Our Pichon. Evolve! Find all here. Now I can Laurel. Or anything else helpful. Now I suppose I can Vandalier. Because what else is going to be helpful? Nothing. Nothing ever. Hey, vacuum again. Oh, there's a Laurel. Nope. My levels are going down. My health is going down still. Hey. Oh, that's helpful. Well, next dash is lucky. Next dash is lucky. Ah, I know. Title of this video, X Dash is Lucky Breaks. Endless luck, endless chickens. Oh, it's near the top. I thought it was near the center. No wonder I kept missing it. Oh, right, you're the ones that spawn in tons of stuff. But now that I have an NFT, I should burn you alive. Look at that health bar. All nice and maxed. Oh. Hey, can run outside again. Oh. Yet not another one spawned in. All in chicken. All in chicken fun. Hey, wake right off the bat, nice. Granted, I don't exactly think I'll need it at this time, but still. It doesn't... So they're immune to Rosary on the side there. Oh, no, they're not. Oh, yes, they are. Rosary just counts as one hit. They're immune to the instant death, but not the damage hit. There are so many rosaries. Crazy. Oh, I grabbed the finger. Got gold finger basically on accident here. Cosmic finger. Just because there were so many re rosaries stocked up. Well, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter at this point. Hey, trouble chest. At least he's lucky. At least he's lucky. Oh, that was bad. Vacuum again. I'm breaking all my rules. 
Ah, yeah. X dash is crazy endless luck. We'll go with that. You got Cosmic Finger. And there's multiple Aura Logans to keep me safe till the end, too. Is this going to 20? This is not a 15 minute wave, or this is not a final wave. Yep, this is 20 minute stage. Huh. Why did I think it was 15? X dash is endless luck. There's nothing but power up after power up after power up. Actually, now that I think about it, enough luck probably is the strongest contender, huh? If you just get endless rosaries, then your damage is going to be higher than anything possible. Do a clover luck. And then five luck on Mina. What can survive that many rosaries? Only bosses are immune, super bosses are immune to rosary. So, let's see. How would you do it? Obviously. F well, let's see. Obviously, Mina has to be a part of it, since she can get more luck than anyone faster. Everyone else is stuck at one. She can get two. Yay. The two luck, three growth, wicked season. An old sanctuary, paranormal scanner, greatest jubilee, attract orb. Uh, da, da, da. Gonna want to be invincible, too, on the back end, so Laurel... Oh, cool down, empty tome. I mean, just a lot of stuff to set up for that. But that'll be for far in the future. I need random event too on. I want to do it in Lake Foscari since it has so much luck on the ground. And you get bonus luck too, yay, bonus luck. Hmm. Can't do it here. I and mean, the bonus stages would have a lot of stuff spawning in. Hello Reaper, how's it going? Alright, and there's X Dash's endless luck in action. Somehow manages to make it through with only one actual failure along the way. Weird. Anyway, with surprising ease, Toasty. Well, Toasty is going to have ease. X Dash luckily broke through Mad Forest, Laboratory, and Space 54 with pretty much no trouble. That takes us down to 1,611 on the Beswick. Thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun. Like, dislike, comment, or subscribe if you did. And if you didn't, I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a good day if you did the other thing too. Uh, thanks for messing around in the Vampire Survivor's Beswick.